Hi guys, Bob Collins for Before You Spend Thousand. If you're looking for a video that's going to help you decide how to spend or the best way to spend your lighting dollars, you found it. Stick with me. I'll be right back. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We always appreciate it. You hear that. Everybody says it on the YouTube channels. And of course, we've got that like button down there. The reason I do the Before You Spend Thousands video is that hopefully I can take some of the experiences that I've had over the past two years involved in lighting and, and try to pass that on to you. And I bought all of these lights. None of these lights were given to me. And so this is, this is real experience. And so I'm going to kind of step through these. And of course, it depends on what kind of budget you have. If you're just starting out, hey, some people have smaller budgets. <clears throat> some people have bigger budgets. But this is not for a big budget production. This is for us small guys. So what I've got here, I've got the crappy light. I tend to call it the crappy light. Um, it's really not crappy. Uh, it came from uh, Amazon and I'll put a link down below. Now I'm not an affiliate marketer, so I'm just giving you this information. I'll get nothing off of it if you go there and buy this unit. Now, I'm going to put a little thing up in the corner that shows what this unit looks like. It comes as three lights. It's the soft box. There's a 350 watt fluorescent bulb in there fixture. And it comes with some very, very, very lightweight and inexpensive uh, tripods. <clears throat> now, the tripods are very, very lightweight. So don't expect to use them for a whole lot more than this. Now these come with three of these fixtures, three bulbs, three soft boxes, and it comes with a little cheapo boom arm and uh, 91 bucks. And in all actuality, they work pretty good. Now I've got a green screen behind me here and I've used these lights to light the green screen. And if you need, um, you know, some tutorial, there's plenty of tutorials out there about how to use and how to light green screens. But what I want you to pay attention to, of course, is if you're working on a budget and you want to keep your dollars down low, this crappy light is a great way to go. Now, it's not adjustable. It's strictly turn it on, turn it off. I guess you could add a dimmer down at the, at the power source if you wanted or needed to. The next light is the Falcon Eyes 12T. Now this RX 12T is strictly a daylight light. It, uh, it's only 204. And again, I'll put the, the Amazon link down there. This is an LED uh, kind of flexible panel light. It comes with this soft box that you can either have on there or not. It also comes with a little dome diffuser, and it comes with the X head that goes in the back and a ball head, so you can mount it on a tripod or a boom arm like what I've got this one. Now, this one is fully adjustable, and I really rate this light extremely high. And I would say if you've got the budget and you could buy, there's actually a kit that has two of these 12 T's and one 18 T, that would be fantastic. But you're talking about spending $600. So just be aware. Now, this particular unit is extremely lightweight. It only weighs about a pound. So it comes in a nice case and it folds all up and goes in the case. So it's extremely portable also. The stand that I've got uh, this own this boom arm stand is from impact and it is a what I would call a heavier duty stand not ultra heavy duty it's not a C stand it's just a normal tripod medium to heavy duty stand I think they're like 50 bucks or something uh, 
And uh, now over here behind me, this is the Sophie SO48. This is also a falconized light. This is uh, bicolor, so you can adjust it in the color temperature range. Now, it is um, one of these got a hard plastic front on it. And uh, this is a, about a 48 watt light. These are like 40, but these, this is a really bright light. And it's totally adjustable from like one up to 10. So this is an extremely uh, adjustable light. This one is also adjustable and you can adjust it color temp and strength on the, on the back. Now, this light is not lightweight. This light is pretty heavy, comes in a nice case, and the thing about it is, it's ultra thin. So on these lights, you've got that depth you have to contend with. This light, you could virtually put right up against a wall to light you if you've got a you know, economy of space you're having to pay a lot of attention to. But uh, it uh, comes with the controller, comes with a power pack, comes in a nice case, that sort of thing. And, uh, but it's 350 bucks. So to have, you know, a, a few of these, you're talking about having a little deeper, um, you know, billfold a little thicker billfold or deeper checkbook than, uh, than maybe these or these. Now, this is the 48, 48 watt, also comes in a 28, and it comes in a 68, which is, you know, a, appropriately larger or smaller than what you see right here. Now, if I was just doing uh, portraiture, um, I would definitely stick with this light because when you're shooting and, and filming with this light, the light is so soft and so comfortable, it's really, um, it's really very, very pleasant. This light, again, the 12T, you can adjust it, and uh, it's pretty nice too, but you see the size difference in the 12T versus the, the crappy light over here. The two lights that I've got lighting me, I've actually got one, the other one of the crappy lights. That's my fill light over here. <clears throat> Up here, uh, my main light that I've got here, what I've got is this is a Yungno or Yungnong 1200. Now, these units are made, uh, they do a 216, which is one I've got right here. I'm going to talk about it in a second. They've got a 600, they've got a 900, and they've got this 1200. And a couple of different models within those. Now, they're fairly cost efficient. They're fairly adjustable, things along those lines. Now, the 1200, uh, I'm actually lighting, it's at 50%. I've got some room lights in here too. But this is uh, shooting through an umbrella 50%, it does a great job, comes with barn doors. You have to get the battery pack or it can be run off to Sony battery packs. Now, this is actually a pretty good little light and I would recommend, it's just my, my two cents, I'd recommend getting the 1200, don't stop at the 600, don't stop at the 900. Because if you, if you need more light and you've got those particular units, then you're going to be wanting. If you get the 1200, you can always back it down. So I'd always rather have more light than less light as far as that's concerned. So that's that Yunnan unit up here. And again, it's also on, um, on Amazon, and I think you can get them through B&H and uh, maybe Adorama, that sort of thing. Now, this is the Yunnan uh, YN216. Now this is a neat little light and this little light is is really cool because you can power it AC. It's not very strong but you can power it AC and you can also power it with the little Sony uh, battery that's so popular out there. Comes with a stand, you can put it on a tripod or whatever but it also has little, it comes with little colored plastic gels uh, that you can put on the front and also some little barn doors. 
This is kind of cool if you want to use it for like a, a hair light or something, something like that, or you want to put it behind you and light the background, something like that, or if you want to add some color into what you're doing as far as what you've got, you know, over here in front of you. So this is just, and I think this is only like $59. So this is a, a, a pretty versatile light to add to your lighting kit. So that's just a little bit of a rundown. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos about some cameras, about some audio gear and stuff like that, that I see is somewhat lacking out there in the uh, YouTube world. And again, I appreciate it if you hit the like button or if you don't like what I've got to say, hit the dislike button. Uh, comments, if you use these lights, please leave some comments down there so that other people can read about your experiences and what you think about these lights. So if you needed to ask me, if you're really low budget, really you know, starting out, you wanna keep your, your, your budget real low, go with the crappy lights, they're really, really good. Uh, if you want a, a group of overall and you've got four to six hundred dollars to spend, I'd get the 12 or 18 T's. I think they're just great versatile lights. And if you've got a little bit bigger budget, I'd snag uh, maybe a 68, uh, a SO68, uh, an SO48, maybe an SO28. And you know, you're going to be spending about a thousand dollars or so. But these are incredible lights. Don't forget about your tripods now. Make sure you get medium to heavy duty style uh, and type tripods. But uh, I appreciate you watching. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Before You Spend Thousands. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for being here.